Hmm. Look at this. In true Dragon Ball fashion, this, he refused... this guy was using Goku's body as a trampoline. And in his he went role, through that he shit. To cut through the Kamehameha like it was... That shit is so fucking crazy. I don't even think Frieza did that shit. This nigga is going through it. How, nigga, how are you still alive, bro? In life, welcome back to another reaction. We got another Mojo Jojo top 10 Dragon Ball list. This one's titled The Top 10 Greatest Dragon Ball Movie Fights Ever. As you guys know, Dragon Ball Super Superhero already came out in Japan. We gotta wait till August 19th in the US to watch it. But I'm just gonna let y'all know right now. I already seen it, bro. All right, the first day they, they done released it on YouTube, the spoilers. I already didn't see it. I already didn't see somebody recording on a dusty ass camera in a theater sneaking trying to record it. Man, I already watched it. No subtitles, everything. I watched it straight raw. I'm sorry, bro. I'm the type of person I love Dragon Ball so much. I was not gonna wait till August 19th. I was gonna watch it, and it's gonna make the experience even better for when I watch it actually in theaters on August 19th. It's gonna make it the experience even better for me. But like I'm saying, that's just me though. It might not be for everybody else, but I watched it, bro. I, pop, I watched it twice, man. It was some good fightings in the movie, so that's why I'm reacting to this video. But without further ado, let's get right to the video. If you enjoy, leave a like, man. Let's get it. But ten, Goku and Vegeta versus Metal Cooler. Right, I'm surprised this actually made the list. These two won't be winning an award for exemplary teamwork anytime soon. This was a good fight, but I'm surprised it made the list. Goku and Vegeta fight side by side for the first time. <laughs> Ooh, Vegeta always got the badass interests. On the brutal beatdown isn't the most effortless clash in the cosmos. Cooler's regenerating body just can't keep up with the duo. Yeah, he could make like hella he made hella copies of himself. Nothing better than a Super Saiyan is two Super Saiyans. Mm, nice. But there's like 50 more of them, like a hundred more of them. Unfortunately, Cooler Look at that. subscribed to the same school of thought. What's better than a new robotic body? An army of clones with robotic bodies. That's what. Round one was a short-lived victory, but we'll give Goku and Vegeta a pass since that they need a Sesu beam. power up is downright epic. Nice. I ain't gonna lie. That's nice. That's fucking nice. Look at that. It look like they're going towards the sun. Z Fighters versus Herudagon. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, the Wrath of Dragon? Dragon? I don't even remember watching this fight this much. Ooh. We love beam struggles and martial arts flurries. Uh, hey, one thing I do love about the whole Majin Buu arc after Goku, I think he was like in heaven. He was like, you know, he he died, so he wasn't really on Earth. It was like Gohan and Goten and them. I really liked in the movies and the fights they all of them was fighting together. Like Gohan, Goten, and Goku, they always fight together. I like in the fights, the old Dragon Ball Z movies, they was awful. I love seeing them all fight together, bro. But we can't deny it's refreshing to see our heroes squaring off against a literal kaiju. For a monster, Hirudagon has a surprisingly deep bench of cool techniques that are brought to life by production values as sky high as he is. This shit is like, it's like a big ass beetle. There's a ton of amazing action choreography here, but Trunks and Tapion's dynamic ground the sequence. Hey, that was like a foreshadow of Trunks in the future carnage. with the sword. It's a surprisingly emotional conflict topped off with one of Goku's absolute coolest dragon fists. And he's had a lot of them. Oh, dragon punch. Nice. That shit looks so nice, bro. Ooh, right. That has always got to come at the wrong second, bro. Get off my screen, bro. Goku versus Broly. Now we talking. Now we talking. It may take more than a sensu bean to recover from this. I think his body produced some key. Say what you will about this fabled saying, but he sure Now that was, was crazy. That was fucking crazy, bro. Close range Kamehameha. He's standing there taking it. Is that all you got? Like this guy, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I like the super Dragon Ball on um, the Super Broly version, but Z Broly, 
Z Broly, oh, he was, bro, he was a, like literally evil. So it was a difference. The Super Broly is not evil. The Z Broly, he was mad evil. And it was, I loved it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It is made no clearer than in his dynamic fight against Goku, though, to be honest, bro, look at the shit. Look, he's giving Goku the beast. For a new transformation or flashy technique, but because of how utterly brutal Goku's beatdown is. Hmm. Look at this. In true Dragon Ball fashion, this, he refused this guy was using Goku's body as a trampoline. ...to give up, and thankfully his comrades lend him enough energy to deliver one hell of a final punch. Broly may have lost in the end, but few villains have ever pummeled Goku this close to defeat. I am not gonna let you get away with this! Mm. To this day, I never really, I understood that he punched him, I guess he punched him that hard to make his body, like, Number seven. that that was, that I don't know, to this day, that was kind of like an underwhelming defeat. That's my opinion, you guys can disagree in the comments down below, but to me, I feel like, could have been, he could have died a better way, like a punch to the gut due to all of them giving Goku strength and his body just, the punch was so strong, I don't know, man, fuck it. Who versus Cooler? Dragon Ball Z, Cooler's Revenge. Before donning the silver skin, Freeze's brother took a similar approach to vengeance. Kill Goku, blow up the earth, and relax for the rest of the afternoon. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, his final form is better than Freeze's final form. That's all much easier said than done. Cooler was certainly formidable, and in his final he went through that shit. Cut through the like it was that shit is so fucking crazy. I don't even think Freezer did that shit. This nigga is going through it. How nigga? How are you still alive, bro? It's a Nimbus cloud. Oh, it's been a minute since I watched this fight. So just seeing that shit again, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. Just when he seemed to have got our heroes in a corner, Goku flicked on the golden hair in a sequence almost as breathtaking as the form's debut. Delivering some nice comic justice, Goku proceeds to throw Cooler's own final attack back at him. For anyone keeping school, this makes Goku 2, Freezer's family, 0. Mm -hmm. Bardock versus Bardock. Oh yeah, this is a good fight. I remember this one. Bar Man, Goku's dad was the shit, bro. It's four on one, and Goku's dad still makes it seem unfair for the other guys. Seeking revenge for his crew, Bardock has no qualms. Nah. I like Z Bardock more than Super Bardock. That's just me. I know I keep saying that's just me. But damn it, I think I got a lot of people agreeing with me that's watching this right now that would prefer Z Bardock over Superman. Can I get a Bardock? Yeah, in the, in the, in the comments down below. Can I get a Bardock, man? Same thoughts, you ain't tripping. Z Bardock better? Just put Z Bardock better in the comments, man. Mm. His confidence is totally earned, and with one of the franchise's best songs rocking nice. in the background, he utterly decimates this crew of supposedly elite troops. He can't hide forever. He behind you. Ooh, he's giving you a chokehold. It's already impressive. But we'd bet all our zenny that this would have been a clean sweep if Bardock didn't keep getting distracted by prophetic visions of his son. Did they just foreshadow Goku and Vegeta? It seems the apple really Next in the list. From the tree. Ooh, two, two for one. Yeah, this is a good fight too. Resurrection F. After years dreaming of a rematch, this space tyrant probably thought he'd finally surpassed his Saiyan nemesis after attaining his own shiny transformation. But just as Frieza went gold, Goku moved on to blue. Mm-hmm. Oof. Gut. Gut punch. Fucking left. It's a shame the diabolical villain couldn't maintain Ooh, his new form Ooh, if he thought he was... Ooh, oh, I, this, this fight is underrated. I need to watch this fight again. ...and an ending that calls back to their original duel on Namek. What more could you want?
Frieza taking it. She's sick. Nostalgic reminder of how far Goku has come, and also how far he still has to go since his overconfidence leaves him wide open for one of Frieza's dirty tricks. After all, no one ever said the fight was one on one. Yep. Frieza always gonna do some dirty shit. Number four, Gohan versus. Now y'all know I fucking love this fight. I reacted to this fight on my channel. Look it up, man. I fucking love this fight. This was go up, bro. Gohan, bro. Y'all know how I feel about Gohan, bro. Bojack, Dragon Ball Z, Bojack Unbound. Any villain who felt emboldened by Goku's demise must have forgotten that saving the world runs in the family. <laughs> I my father's side take out the likes of Trunks, Piccolo, and Vegeta, but they forgot one small detail. Goku's son. And just like his father, Gohan doesn't know the meaning of defeat. Facts. There's truly nothing cooler than seeing him pushed beyond his limits. Again. He finally regains Super Saiyan 2 in all its glory. Powered up and ready to deliver some payback. Man. His badass walk through the enemy. Gohan, dog. This guy is something. Savage, oh my gosh. Punch right through this him. This is Gohan at his pinnacle and single-handedly proved he was worthy of taking up his father's mantle. Number three, Goku, Goku versus, versus Janemba, another go one. Fusion reborn. Someone get a doctor on the line. We're seriously worried about Goku's lung capacity. The power up to Super Saiyan 3 is one of the lengthiest and most visually arresting of all transformations from the whole series. You should be proud of yourself. Only Majin Buu has pushed me this far in battle before. Thankfully, the ensuing fight lives up I to wish, I really wish we saw more of the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. Creative interactions to the familiar formula. Junemba offers one of the most varied movesets of any villain. And seeing our hero deftly navigate his strange opponents makes for a captivating exchange of strategy and skill. Ooh, fucking kick to the face. See, the one thing about Junemba, he had a lot of tricks, bro. Doesn't totally clinch the win. That honor belongs to Gogeta's world record. Oh, yeah, beating a villain. I forgot. Uh, get some serious points for making Super Saiyan 3 look even cooler. Double <laughs> Z Battle of Gods. New transformation. Check. Amazing fight. Amazing fight. We could go on, but you get the point. Amazing this fight. Classic Dragon Ball at its finest. Mm -hmm. Look at the y'all hear the music. After Beerus flexes his godly powers to the rest of the main cast, Goku dons a red aura and steps into the ring to deliver the kind of high octane, dizzyingly hype fight that the franchise does best. The action is absolutely unreal, pushed even further <sighs> when Goku's rage allows. What a way to come back to Dragon Ball in the franchise, just bringing this movie out. Hmm. Mmm, he giving it to Goku. Clash Pause. Was just the kind of cathartic, bombastic spectacle to remind the world that no one does a good old-fashioned fight quite like Dragon Ball. Bro, that shit looks crazy. He literally looked like the no, dough. He literally created a sun, bro. Before we unveil our top pick, here's a few honorable... See, I was just about to say the Super Android 13. They better include that one in here, bro. Goku versus Android 13... Dragon Ball Z Super Android 13. It's hard to top a gorgeously animated, earth-shaking punch inside a spirit bomb. Future Trunks vs. Android 17 and 18. Dragon Ball Z, the history of Trunks. This is destined to end in defeat, but we still can't take our eyes off it. Ooh. Gohan and Goten versus Broly. Oh yeah, the father, the family Kamehameha. I said father. <laughs> the family Kamehameha. Thanks for an unforgettable final blow. Yo, bro, I, we gotta see this in Super. Gogeta versus Broly. I ain't mad at it. We didn't 
necessarily want to see the new Broly get his face smashed in, but we can't ignore the unmitigated epicness of this supercharged final bout. People on Tar Super Saiyan and then get punched. When have you seen that before? <laughs> Jaws were already on the floor during Goku's round with the rampaging Saiyan, but it's Gogeta's grand return that takes the crown as the most visually impressive fight in Dragon Ball history. That's no hyperbole either. The sense of speed and scale. Mm, the animation, dog. The animation is over 9,000. Fuck it, this shit is on a million. And the return of a fan favorite fusion, and this battle practically speaks for itself. Sorry, Broly, you'll have to take one for the team so we can rewatch it again. Look at that Kamehameha, bro. Broly was done. He was done, bro. He was done. He was toast. He was not gonna come back if the Dragon Ball did not wish him. If the Dragon Ball did not wish him to go back to his planet, bro, he was toast, bro. Y'all see how. The man was stuttering back like, bro, the man was stuck, bro. But yeah, anyways, y'all let me know which ones they left out out of this whole list, man. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, man, and I'm saying thoughts. It's the same life. I'm going to see y'all next time. I love y'all.